But here in Oklahoma, it's already getting a head start especially in one part of green country. Right now, a couple of fires are burning near Drumright in northwestern Creek County. Two News reporter Sarah Goldenberg is live in the community of Olive with the very latest. Sarah? Russ, this is day four of the fires out here. Now, out here in Olive, the fire has died down, but you can see firefighters, they're still out here. They're watching for hot spots. In fact, a few trucks just pulled up right now. They are really keeping an eye on this to make sure that it doesn't flare up again. Now, if you take a look at this grass, this is all over the place here. This is as dry as hay, and you can see how it is easily fueling that fire. Fires raging across Colorado are on the minds of firefighters here at home. We're just as close to being as bad a shape as they are right now. So. In the last four days, fires scorched 3,000 acres in Freedom Hill and Olive. Lunar, we have a brush pile burning at the head of this fire. It's taken more than 40 firefighters from eight agencies to keep them under control. It's just not a good combination when you get the humidity that low, the temperatures this high, and the wind speeds anywhere above 10. This is all like the brother through here. Firefighters sprang to action Friday morning when the Freedom Hill fire sparked again near homes. Then a call took them eight miles down the road to Olive. A grass fire started spreading so fast, they called out a helicopter to dump water on it. The challenges has been definitely the weather with the high temperatures, the low humidity, the winds. It's, it's all fighting against us. Firefighters worry this is just the beginning. We got a lot of heavy smoke right now. They say if it doesn't rain, conditions could worsen. For now, they're trying to keep the fires under control. Life safety is number one, um, but protecting pr protecting their homes is number two also. Now, firefighters say electricity from a power line actually sparked the fires out here. They say no homes, luckily, were damaged. Live in Olive, Sarah Goldenberg, 2 News, works for you. Still a tough day for those firefighters, Sarah, thanks.